morning vlog. It is, I don't know, just past 11.30. Been up for a little bit, obviously, showered. Um, figured I'd do like a couple days, maybe a week in my life, but right now I am putting on lotion. Um, basically, I am getting my first spray tan tomorrow, um, testing it out for the wedding. Um, so I wanna make sure that my skin it's nice and moisturized, so putting on some lotion. For the rest of the day, I'm gonna ride the bike, and that's, and work. It's my last shift of the week. Ride my bike and work, and then, after that, um, I think my girlfriend might be coming over tonight, stopping by after she gets out of work. Um, and then, what else? Um, tomorrow, like I mentioned, I'm getting a spray tan. Um, Josh has his friend come over like every, almost every Friday, so I'm assuming that's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, anyway, just making sure I'm really moisturized, especially like in the joints, because if you fake tan before or spray tan before, you know, like the joints can get like really wonk and do. So making sure my ankles, knees, elbows, hands, all the good stuff are nice and moisturized. And um, the website said that you shouldn't really moisturize like the day of, just like the day before. That way it's like, cause if you do it the day of and you have oils on you, then the tan won't stick as well. God really knows, but anyway, I'm moisturizing. Also, I'm gonna do my morning skincare, which is literally covering my face in water and then using this Olay it's kind of like a, a jelly instead of like a cream, which I really like. It's really hydrating. You just like a little bit and then I just spread it all over my skin. I add water to my face first though because hyaluronic acid can hold like 500 times its weight in water or something like that. So when you do it dry, it's just like absorbing the water from your skin. But when you do it with wet, it can like put more moisture into the skin me using this towel on my head for anything. All right, but now I'm gonna put on my shorts, get on the bike for like 20 to 30 minutes, and then get on with my day. So happy Thursday, thanks for watching. If you, oh, also I'm Rebecca, if you don't know. Um, I work for Wayfair day to day. I coach lacrosse in the spring, which is starting literally in two, like in a week or two. Um, I am also planning a wedding and uh, Josh and I, who's my fiance, Josh, are getting married in May and that's about me. But for now, I am moisturized, I'm feeling good and I am about to, as soon as I go to the gym, but now I'm going to my bike. Also, Miko here. Also, I'm going to my shower stripping, but Miko is hanging out and... Here we are, let's go for a ride. So, I exfoliated in the shower and I like almost never exfoliate, but it's one of those like everything showers where like you exfoliate, you shave, you like double body wash, you wash the hair. It's like one of those like big, big showers, but feeling very clean, very fresh. Um, okay, riding the bike now. Um, I already did 15 minutes of cardio at the gym this morning once I finished work before I went to bed. Oh, I also work overnights. That's something new. Um, so yeah, um, that's, so I'm only gonna do like 15, 20 minutes here. So I'll watch some YouTube while I do it. Um, I really wanna, oh my God, the seat is crooked. Also today, I really wanna clean the house, get ready for the next week. So vacuuming, cleaning all the surfaces, um, all that kind of stuff. I don't think anything's like, Nothing is that dirty. It's just like, I haven't vacuumed in like three, four days or something. And if you have cats or any pets in general, you know that it just gets like kind of gross. Not that it's like nasty, but it's like, there's cat litter, like pellets or whatever. There's like cat hair all over the place. So just wanna clean up a little bit there. And then who really knows? I think I'm gonna put on real human clothes today. So I might wear jeans, that would be something. Um, but yeah, overall, it's gonna be a pretty 
like productive chill day where I get some I get some stuff done, but then I'm also like on my ass, you know. But I have my bun, just my bun. I have my hair, I like soaking wet hair, just in a top bun right now because I didn't want it to dry, just like in a ponytail with the ponytail thing, so I just put it up there. Anyway, um, I'm gonna watch some YouTube and I'll check in when I'm cleaning the house, so. I need some water. All right. Mm. House is nice and clean. Got a quick little DIY to do before eating something for the day. I got this basket from, oh, you can't see. I got this basket from Goodwill. If you watched my last vlog, it was in that. Um, but I figured it'd be good for home decor, but also for the wedding, we need a card box. So I figured this would be a good option for that because there's a little lid and then all that stuff. But there's a, a couple of broken pieces, so I'm just gonna glue down some of the rattan that has come up. And yeah, literally the very, very simple DIY. I didn't realize this one was broken, so. But yeah, I figured I would just um, correct this issue a little bit. And then um, after this, I'm gonna eat some breakfast, have some coffee. Literally, that was it. <laughs> Nico and I have just been chilling. It's been a good day. I'm pouring myself some more coffee. I am a little upset right now, but that's okay. That's life. Things happen. Um, I think I mentioned this in a different vlog, but I was saying how I'm like eager to have RSVP, whether it's yes or no, because I'm like, we have like. We're only having about like 45 to 50 people at the wedding, but we have like a tier two list, I've been calling it, where it's like, if someone says no on the first list, then we can invite someone else. But it's like people that you expect to say yes, and they say no, and you're like, yeah. I don't know. It's not like my feelings are hurt or anything, like I completely understand, but it's also just like, oh, well, I really want to see them there. And it's sad that they won't be there, but totally okay. Anyway. Make myself a coffee. I've just been doing like digital coaching work and um, then the wedding stuff. So just really been chilling. But need some coffee because I am dozing. And um, I think I'm just watching YouTube now and kind of just like hang around. Watching YouTube, but I figured I should like correct what I was saying before. It's like we invite a certain like group of people like not necessarily expecting them to come but like really hoping they'll say yes and um there's definitely a couple of people on our list where we like kind of expected a no but for some like I, I just got a no today from like someone that i like kind of expected to come not that like anyone like has to go to your wedding but it's just like kind of hurts your heart a little bit and um it's like I was, I'm saying like, it's totally okay. Like I understand that like people are busy and like it's a, it's a long way for some people. It's just like kind of disappointing, but it's like, it's hard. Cause it's like, I understand, but it's also like still disappointing regardless of that. Um, but anyway, glad we can have some more friends come in that absence of the others. But anyway, what time is it? It is 4.30, so. I'm really just like chilling. Um, the house is clean. I've done all the things I need to do today. And now I'm just like counting down the hours till work. Basically it's my Friday shift. So my last shift of the week and then I'm off until Sunday night, which is really nice. But Miko and I are just chilling. Hello vlog. It is 11 o'clock, checking in, also whispering. But um, basically since I last checked in, I made dinner 
when my girlfriends came by, she's actually sleeping out in the living room, which is why I'm trying to be extra quiet, but um, hung out for a while, ate some dinner, just chicken, broccoli, mac and cheese, really good, good stuff. Um, what we eat every week. Um, hung out with my girlfriend for a while, had a meeting with the manager, and uh, yeah, now I'm working, but nothing too crazy going on. Um, but figured I would check in. Um, I'm excited for my weekend. Um, it's my last weekend without really anything going on. So, oh, we, we are doing dinner with um, Josh's brother and basically sister-in-law. Um, but that's really it. So, looking forward to some chill time. But for now, back to work. Alrighty, it is 4.45, listening to a podcast, waiting at the gym for the lights to turn on. It's, I cannot wait to go to bed, but this morning I'm going to do a shoulder and, no, just a shoulder focus workout, maybe walk on the treadmill a little bit, but then got to drive Josh to work before I can go to sleep, so counting down for another two hours. <laughs> Watching some YouTube, riding the bike because it wouldn't be a day in my life if I didn't ride the bike. But good morning. It is 11:15. Woke up at like 10:45. But getting my bike ride in this morning. Today I had my first ever spray tan. Um, beyond that, I literally I have to run an errand to the grocery store. And that's it. So literally nothing exciting whatsoever. A very boring day. But also like, we decided to get spray cans for the first time. Should be interesting since I've never done that before. And I'm a pale girl, so we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna keep riding the bike and I'll check in when something out of the normal or something more exciting is going on. This right here, fashion, sweatshirt, my shorts from running the bike and my jacket because I'm just running to get only a couple things on the grocery list and I'm not changing yet, so check me out. <laughs> All right, real quick, grocery haul. Haven't had flowers in a bit, so got some cute little tulips. Then we have lettuce, a salad kit. We have an extra, um, like dressing packet for this. So I don't know why they put two in it, but anyway, we had an extra one. So just gonna combine those, make the salad for tomorrow for dinner, regular little shredded lettuce, uh, nail trimmers because Josh <laughs> murdered ours yesterday, but there's our quick little grocery haul. Now it's 1140. Um, I don't need to leave here till one. So I'm probably gonna eat like a protein bar or something, have a little coffee and then get on my way. But Miko's gonna eat the plastic and the flowers. So Lisa's saying, you know, look how fucking busy I am for the next week. I'm okay, I swear to God. I, I, I'm i telling myself I'm okay. <laughs> I have 14 points, I love it so much, but they sent me cases for it and I also got a cute little phone charm. It's like so aesthetic and obsessed. But if you guys didn't know, Peace Fight is actually the world's largest watching some YouTube, still drinking some coffee, just been hanging out coloring because you know, it's it's relaxing. And this is um, a swear word coloring book. And you know, this is what I picked out today. because it's, it's just a vibe, but drawing in all these little clovers is very therapeutic. The girlies are also just hanging out, waiting for something to do, but they're not gonna get it right now. <laughs> if you're curious, I am living for my outfit today. Like any, like I'll wear my freaking sweatset any day of the week, but like, you kind of have to wear like loose fitting clothes for the spray tan. So I'm like, oh, why not wear my matching sunset? And then I have this like kind of oversized vest that which I got from Goodwill. But yeah, here's the look. I got a lint roll a little bit so I'm not completely covered in cat hair. Um, but I'm gonna leave for the spray tan now and then I have to pick Josh up for like six and my spray tan's at two. So 
So I'm like, I'll have enough time to come home after, but I'm like, I could just kind of spend the day out running some errands. But we'll kind of see like how I feel after the tan or like how crazy I look because I'm not trying to be like, I'm not trying to look like I got spray tan, you know? Like, if I'm like out and running errands. Like I might like stop by Target and just like wander around for a bit, but I don't think I'm gonna wander around there for like two and a half, three hours, just to waste time. But anyway, figured I would show you the look. Very comfy, cozy. I wish I could wear my slippers. <laughs> Mika is guarding my bag so I can't go. And Beanie is in the bee bag. Also the flowers are looking very cute. But anyway, I am heading out soon. The Tesla is having like weird tech issues. But anyway, at Glow Tanning. So I am a bit early, so I'm gonna wait like 10 minutes and then I'm gonna head in there. But honestly, like, I'm just vibing now. <laughs> okay. So. Let me wait for the chair to stop moving. That girl. That tanned me, it was so sweet, so nice. Um, she understands that like I'm a pale girl. So um, we did like, um, I think we did a light meet. No, I think we might have a medium dark. Um, but yeah, we did basically a medium tan and then I'm gonna let it sit for eight to 12 hours, which 12 hours would be um, 2 a.m. So I'm probably gonna sleep in it or I'll shower at like 10. But anyway, I feel good, I feel like it looks like pretty natural right now and it's gonna just get really dark before it gets lighter and then once like once like that 12 hour mark hits like then you rinse it off and it's lighter than it actually looks but i'm gonna run to target and get some like preferred lotions and stuff because i think what i have is oily and would like strip the tan or whatever so i'm gonna do a little target run and then head home and that's my day but i'm feeling pretty good like I feel like like I look like I was tanned, but it doesn't look like holy shit this girl got a fucking spray tan, you know? So I'm excited. But anyway, off to Target. o'clock now so I literally spent like 45 minutes just wandering around Target and it just happens you know but I uh they recommended getting like pH balancing soap and then um like mineral free uh lotion that way the tan will last the longest and like if I'm paying $60 for a goddamn tan like I'm making it last okay so um and I could have bought the stuff at their place but they literally like let me just show you so like got hemp's lotion because that's what they recommended and at theirs they're like charging 25 dollars for this but literally at target it was like 11 dollars. so like just it's like uh yeah i have that i'm gonna go so anyway have the hemp's lotion this is this sweet pineapple and honey melon scent it's really good um and then got my freaking receipt is being noisy then i got native body wash so this is uh, like, it's pH balancing. So wanted to get that. And then this one is sea salt and cedar scent. And it smells really good with the sweet pineapple. So like, I'm gonna smell fucking great. And then for when the tan is wearing off and it's starting to look like splotchy and stuff, I did get a sugar scrub because um, I don't have any scrubs. So I figured like, it'll be good to like exfoliate, but it'll also be good to like uh, get off the tan if it's like starting to look weird. And then not on the list, I got an ice box and ice cube trays because Josh and I bought a new fridge. Um, ours works fine. It's just not like it, it, it works. It doesn't really work for what we need. Like the layout of it, like the two doors side by side just isn't, isn't it? Um, but the fridge we got doesn't have an ice maker. So we got some ice cube trays and the ice box. So we'll be able to have ice still. But anyway, with that being said, I'm going to put all these stuff back in the bag and I'm going to head home, um, maybe eat a snack and then go get Josh. But I'm excited for the lotion. And I'm also like, I feel like my tan is already kind of developing already. So I'm like, oh my God. The girl's like, don't worry. Like it's gonna look worse before it gets better. But I'm like, already I'm like, I look like this. <sighs> but I'm excited. Like being tan, like everyone looks better when they're tan. It's just facts. But I'm gonna put all this stuff back 
and head home, listen to a podcast. So see you there. Very exciting stuff. Our Every Plate, which is our new meal subscription service that we're trying, came in the mail. So I'm gonna unbox that, but obviously pulling into the garage now and yeah. Figured I would do a little unboxing of our Every Plate. Um, this is our first meal service we're trying. Um, my parents do it and they really like it, but because I'm gonna be so busy in the coming months, figured this would be best. So we can still have nutritious meals and Josh will be able to do it. Not that he doesn't, not that he can't like cook normally, but he doesn't do the cooking normally. So it's like following the recipes are different. Um, but anyway, I'll have to say, um, we did the plan where it's five meals. So literally like the biggest plan you can get. So every day of the regular week, we can have some like this and then well, we did the five. We did the five meals for four people because Josh eats a lot, and then figure we'll have leftovers so you can take some to work and all that stuff. But uh, basically, I want to try this one for like two weeks, and then if that like plan is too much, then we'll dump it down to like four meals or three meals or whatever. But anyway, so our meals for this are smothered pork chops, um, barbecue meatloaf sandwiches. That's a choice for Josh. That looks pretty good. Um, sweet potato pepper fajitas. That looks really good, actually. Pretty excited about that. Nico's excited. Sweet potato and pepper fajitas. Okay, apparently we have two of those ones. Uh, Turkish spice chicken rice bowls. And beef flautas. Whatever that means. Um, I hope we didn't actually get two of the fajitas, but okay, we go. You can get off of that. I'll see what this looks like. Okay, we have lots of bread. All right, this is for the meatloaf sandwiches, I'm sure. A bunch of these. Actually, let me just show you what's going on in this box because there's a lot out. Okay, so just pulled out all these guys, which are just like the dry goods, I guess. And then this is what the box looks like. I don't know what I expected, but this was um, definitely not it. So I think I'm gonna try and organize these into uh, like which goes with what meal. It's like deep in there too. It's like, <laughs> where's the end? Okay. It just keeps going, like, holy crap. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna like unbox this and kind of like organize it. And uh, this is why I'm like so excited for the new fridge because this is not it. Okay, I truly don't know what I expected, but like there's a box of veggies, there's all the meat, and then like there's like the sauces and the seasonings and breads and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to try it. I'm eager to see how they actually are and see how like the food lasts because we're not gonna start eating these for another two days. So hopefully like all the produce and the meat doesn't like go bad or anything, but it looks good. I'm, I am excited. Also excited for my new lotions and body wash. <laughs> Off in the car on the way to pick up Josh. Also have a FaceTime date planned with a friend tonight, and then I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm excited to shower off this tan because, not that it's like gross or anything, I just feel like, like excited to see like the end result of it and all. But yeah, I'm uh, off to pick up Josh, and I hope he can get done a little early because I'm gonna show up a little early, so <laughs> let's hope. Josh requested pizza for dinner, so it is pizza for dinner. Have a little seltzer. Yep. Mika's sleeping. Mika's taking up half the couch so we can't sit next to each other. My tan is really developing. I'm um, debating when I should wash it off because part of me is like, I could stay up until like 10.30, rinse it off and go to bed. The other part of me is like, I could just wait until the morning. But it, like it stops developing after 12 hours, but like you're supposed to wait 12 hours or like 10 to 12 and then 10 to 12 hours is like midnight to two. So I'm like, I'm not doing that. But like maybe I can wait like eight and a half. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm probably gonna sleep in and just look like a crazy person until I wash it off. But I mean, I'm okay with that. If it's gonna give me the best payoff and I'm like thinking about it too, cause I'm like, I have to think about it. Like I have to be in the wedding mindset, you know? So I'm like, the week of the wedding, if I have to shower or something off at 12 hours, like, I can schedule the appointment for a different time of day. Right. 
So like I'll have the time. So I'm like, I just wanted to like do it. So I'm just gonna sleep it probably. So, what's that? Me. <laughs> Is it good? It's good. Nice. All right, we're gonna enjoy our pizza night and I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow or some other time. Good morning. Good morning. Ready for a jump scare? <laughs> I'm so dark. I'm gonna shower now, wash this all off, but I have never been more brown in my life. But yeah, okay, I need to rinse this bad layer off. Leaving the gym now. Also, just stopped at the grocery store because I was craving a bagel and like I was gonna go to Dunkin', but I'm like, no, I'm gonna just buy some bagels. So, got some bagel, cream cheese, and string cheese. Very excited. But now I'm gonna listen to my podcast and head home. I did get commented on my tan three times, so I'm thinking <laughs> it's a little too dark. Um, like, granted, like I know I'm gonna look tanner than I obviously did, but I'm excited to see how it is on like day two, day three, day four kind of thing, because it's definitely dark right now. But I wore my little workout onesie to the gym today, and it's very comfortable for like a nice, just treadmill walk. Yeah, I walked on the treadmill for like 30 minutes instead of riding the bike today. Might ride the bike later, but anyway, for now I am headed home and on the docket today, um, I think I'm gonna repot some plants. I know there's at least one plant I have to repot. Water the plants. Um, beyond that, I ha we have some wedding homework to do. We're gonna record, each of us are gonna record individually, like our story and do that. Um, and then I think that's kinda, gotta journal a little bit, but I think that's really it for like my day today. And then tonight we're doing dinner with Tyler, who is Josh's brother. So it's gonna be a pretty chill day for the most part, but you know, there's nothing wrong. I, I need a chill day because next week I have something going on every day and then lacrosse starts the week after that. So I'm excited to have a nice like chill home day. Recording my portion of our story, I guess. So Josh and I met at Patriot Subaru, of course. Okay. Just me gushing about Josh for 17 minutes. We love that. So I'm gonna send this to my sister and actually I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna make Josh record his and then I'm gonna send them both to her. Um, it's, I, I wonder what, like, I know, like, our stories are going to be, like, pretty much the same. It's just, like, different perspectives. And, well, I mean, and everyone has, like, their own version of the truth. So, it'll be funny to, like, listen to what he has to say. But it's funny, like, thinking about, like, our relationship and, like, what thoughts came into mind. It's just, like, like, oh, I forgot about this story until, like, right now. Um, anyway, I'm in a sweatsuit again because another day, another sweatsuit. I'm not putting on any tight clothing right now. I'm just not doing it. Um, but I have the laundry going. I'm gonna enjoy some coffee and... Wow, Miko's really going to town. I'm gonna enjoy some coffee and make my bagel finally and um, just sit around for a while. I'm living. I don't even remember the last time I had a bagel. I'm freaking so hyped up. Miko is enjoying the setup, but I have my like crafting sheet. Like you can tell like the stains on it. There's like paint all over it, but this is my crafting sheet. And then all the plants over here have some repotting to do. Also just like weeded out this guy, but this was my clearance plant. And you can tell like, whoever did this one, it's a bit weird. So we're gonna repot that, add some more soil in. Um, what else do we have to repot? I'm gonna repot this little guy. Also, okay. Oh no, oh, but, okay. You can't go in the bag, you can go next to the bag. Um, there's another one, the string of pearls. Whatever that one is, right down here. Repot this guy, it definitely needs it. A bit overdue, actually. And then just gotta water the rest of them. Um, but yeah, I figured I would just do that right now. And I have my, let's prop you guys up. I have my apron on, put real human clothes on instead of the sweatsuit. And I am feeling good, so. I have my gloves too, my little gardening gloves. So I'm gonna get 
to it probably won't record it in real time because the dryer's going and it's fucking loud. So, let's put on a video and let's repot some plants. So, everything is all watered and repotted. I put the two um, philodendrons I had together. One's a neon, pothos actually, and then the other one's a heartleaf philodendron. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes, but it should be interesting. I think they they take the same care, so I'm like, it should be fine. We'll see how they end up getting along now. Um, move the string of pearls into a bigger pot. I uh, just moved this guy into the same size pot, but um, he was a bit, like weird looking, a little bit root bound in some places. So redid that. The leaves are not being perky. This plant is one of those that are like so finicky about like where they are. So won't be moving him again for a little bit. Um, let's see. And then yeah, I pruned this guy back a bit, watered everything. But yeah, there it all is. I love when the sink is just filled with green. But now it's 12. I'm gonna go back to the couch, do some journaling, and get along with my day. Also, had to change my outfit because I got my sleeve wet when I was watering. And I think this makes me look a bit orange. And the girl promised me I would not be orange. So I'm like, okay, it's fine. Just day one throughout the time and it's gonna get less orange. But whew, I am not used to this, that's for sure. Alrighty, the sun's really coming into the house like so nicely. Oh, look at the beanie girl. So cute, have the vibes going. Watching some YouTube, but Josh is on his way home like an hour early. Josh and I tonight are going to his brother's to have dinner with them. Um, and we're on salad duty. So I'm gonna make the salad right now. He literally, he left work about half an hour early, which is really nice. But anyway. I'm just gonna put these lettuces together. Um, we have an extra like crouton and um, dressing mix because last time we got this huge salad kit, it accidentally came with two for whatever reason. So now we have a perfect amount. So I'm just gonna put everything. Thank goodness. I'm just gonna put everything into this massive bowl and then put the little cover on and then mix it up and just do that. So nice and easy. And I'll check in later when Josh and I are driving to his brothers or something. But basically, just adding in that we might. I think we. Oh, I thought we had other croutons. Oh, we do. Yeah, I might add in some other croutons. We'll kind of see what I feel like doing. But for now, I'm gonna pick out like I hate when the lettuce things come with this. But anyway, there's our salad, yay. Salad. Oh, hi. Be good in the sun. All right, we have all the goods. All the goods, what's up? Ray gave this to me today. <laughs> cool. Come on. We've been doing coffee in bed this morning, but hello, vlog, it's the next day. Figured I would check in. I figured I'm gonna make this just a weekend vlog. I think I have like a lot of clips from just a weekend and then I'll do a weekly vlog starting tomorrow. Just been hanging around, having a lazy day. I'm debating whether to go to the gym or not. Like I could, but I'm also enjoying a nice lazy day. We'll kind of see what happens later on today, but I got to work this afternoon or this evening and then busy week coming up. But for now I'm enjoying a nice lazy time. I feel like it's well, well needed. I mean, I vlog. Oh, 
isolate it until they can get organized transport. Hello, look. Just showered again and rinsed off the tan. I feel like my face and like my body are like the perfect color, but my legs are still like kind of dark. So I'm just gonna note that. It's a little splotchy in some places too. Like I put on my Apple Watch like, right after I tanned. Don't recommend that. Um, and then like I went to the gym yesterday and my boobs sweat definitely got some off too. So it's like, there's definitely some places where it's like, it doesn't look the best, but overall pretty happy with this color or maybe like tomorrow's color, I think will probably be good. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, it's like noon now, I think. I'm taking a like very like slow rest day, like no gym, not even gonna ride the bike or anything, just like no activity, just hanging out. Um, Nico's currently in the closet. Really know what she's doing up there, but anyway this is the look so definitely like darker than i normally am of course but it's definitely like it's not bad it's just so i'm looking at the mirror behind you but it's like i can't tell if i like it or if it's weird or what but yeah there's definitely there's definitely a trial process like i've definitely learned some things i shouldn't be doing next time like right after i can i probably shouldn't put on my apple watch i shouldn't like put on my julia right away i shouldn't like go to the gym the next day so just like things to take note for for next time i might do another trial run before the wedding but Anyway, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Um, definitely just also weird to get used to. It's like a jump scare every time, but I think my face is like a perfect color now. Like tan, but not too tan. And then like eventually like my body is pretty good, but my legs are like really dark for some reason. So just thinking about that. And also keeping this note for myself because I need to know what to tell the lady next time I go. Kind of made the bed a little mediocre, but I just tried on a white shirt and I decided that with dark colors the tan is like perfect today but with white it still is like a bit much for me at least in my opinion so i'm thinking day four or day five of this tan will be like perfect so i'll know what to tell the lady next time but i'm gonna just keep watching it of course but anyway i am oh josh is playing video games miko will still not get out of the closet hey but i'm gonna go back to the couch and hang out maybe drink another coffee we'll see at the drinks. Hello. We're driving to the car wash. Oh, Looking gosh. at the car wash. Yeah. It is 2.15. So yeah. it's gonna be a pretty it's been a pretty chill day so far. Yeah. Might Definitely. might do a haircut later. Definitely. Definitely, that's interesting. Definitely. We'll see. Yeah. I mean happy about a lazy day though. Mm, yes. And it's like 35 degrees with 400 mile an hour winds. Yes. Vlog, we didn't do it wrong this time. Sorry, we, there's no way about it. Oh, it'd be nice and reflective too. Nice. The house now. It doesn't go on board. This is adulting. Mailboxes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Doing, doing a clip. They're, they're getting hot steamy in there. I'm going to say this for the first time in three weeks. Or four we weeks. We got two episodes. Yes, Mingo. Mingo! No, there's something. Hello vlog. Haven't checked in in a bit, um, but basically Josh and I went to Lowe's, got a new mailbox because ours was broken by the plow this year. Um, and now we um, hung out on the couch, ate some dinner, and I'm working. So that's really it. I'm going to end the vlog off here. Thank you guys for watching this weekend in my life. If you liked it, make sure you liked it. Don't forget to comment something down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week for another video.